Thank you very much for dropping in. My name is William Little of High Tech Cleaning Group uh, in Ireland. Uh, I'm the Irish distributor for All Tech Network. I've been distributing uh, All Tech equipment for some 24 odd years. Today here I'm describing probably, I would say without a shadow of a doubt, one of the most advanced, reliable, most professional water extraction machines that you're going to find uh, on the island of Ireland. Uh, we use them ourselves, we have been using them for, as I say, that period of time as well. So what have we got here? We've got probably the most popular uh, unit that's in the range uh, of Alltech. Uh, we would sell probably, uh, out of every 10 units that we'd sell, this will be the unit that we sell, it's called the Advance. So what have we got here? Very versatile machine. Uh, the unit, as you can see, is lethally well presented on the, the common comment that you get from a customer when you arrive is, wow, what a, what a beautiful looking machine. So basically it's a marine fiberglass, it's highly polished. Normally we bring them in plain. We'd normally advise that you put your own company name uh, on that and promote your own company on, on the side of your machine. Machine is very easy to move around. Uh, it's got two 10 inch uh, large wheels on the back, which is good for getting it in and out over the steps or whatever. We've got twin front casters on the front of it. Uh, we've got a, a handle on the back of it here. The machine is very, very well balanced. Uh, you can actually there, you can see I'm just holding the machine uh, with one finger. So it's well balanced that when the operator is bringing it in, uh, no big strain that's going to be annoying backs or whatever. Um, machine split in two, we have basically the clean tank of the machine. The clean tank is approximately 57 litres of capacity, which I think is around about 13 gallons. Inside that clean tank is a 3 kilowatt heating element, uh, which heats the water. That is totally activated by a dial on the, on the back of the machine here. You can set it to 40, 50, 60, 70 or whatever the case may be. It is also, in, in that clean tank, is also a, a, a float switch, uh, so that whenever you get your water comes down to a level, it will switch off the heater so that you're not going to burn out your element, etc. There is also a, a filter uh, down there, which obviously is easy taken off and has to be cleaned on a regular basis as well. We come to the waste tank, which is a 30 litre tank. Uh, again, it's got an, an electronic cutoff so that whenever the water hits the electronic cutoff, it will close down the vacuum motors and the water pump. This is obviously to safeguard uh, the vacuums. There's none of this old ball and cage mechanism that you would have seen in machines probably way back in 1970 and 80. Uh, totally really advanced machines, and the idea of that is that it extends the life of your vacuum motors. We have uh, debris filters. And this is a twin vac machine uh, that I have here, and again, you just pull off the debris filter, any uh, dust or uh, debris or whatever, or you basically at the end of a job or whatever, you just wipe that clean or whatever. Uh, so there's two of those on, and that very easily uh, pulls off. So that's basically your waste tank. Please note, nice, good lids, all well fixed, uh, not falling off, breaking on the floor, and all, all that sort of thing. The front of the machine here, we connect our hose when we've got a male double shut off connector. Doesn't mean that any, this means that no water is actually running out of the machine whenever you disconnect. Uh, the solution says at the back of the connector. Then of course you've got the area where your vac hosing goes, uh, or your vac hose goes on the front of it. We have a drain valve in the front of it. Uh, obviously with a spout here, that's slightly uh, moulded in there to not leave it sitting out too far. We have a lifting handle on, on the bottom of the machine as well. To take a look at the back of the machine, we've got here uh, three switches, uh, good strong robust switches that will obviously uh, take abuse there every day, one for the water pump and two for the vac, this is a twin vac as I've already stated. If anything should go faulty with a vac as uh, uh, time goes on, we have overload safety cutout buttons here. None of this scenario where you've got to go for to replace a fuse and all of those things. Uh, we've got an hour meter on this machine as well, which tells you what sort of hours is up on it, so that you know when to replace brushes and uh, the vacuum motors, etc. etc. Then, of course, we've got vacuum gauge just to always check that you're getting uh, your machine is working at maximum performance. 
Uh, this side of the machine here is all to do with the heaters. This is your temperature gauge. Uh, this is your, your stat adjusting unit where you want to set the temperature at say 50, 60, 70 or whatever, the, whatever you, you need to work at temperature ways. And this is actually your heater on and off switch. There's also a neon light on that which indicates uh, that the heater is working and obviously whenever you heat up to 60 degrees the machine switches off the light will go off whenever the temperature drops uh, the light will come on so that from a distance you can see that your, your, your heater is actually working. So that's the whole uh, dash panel on the unit. Good strong robust handle on it as well. Uh, two cables on it so that we can uh, have the machine heating away uh, as, as the machine is working. Uh, I know a number of machines don't permit that to happen, we find this is an invaluable thing because it saves time uh, and we can also use the machine I suppose as it were a boiler whenever you're pre-spraying uh, before you start cleaning the machine is heating up or whatever so two different cables, good cable held by two cable winds um, uh, one for the main electrics and one for the heaters down here we have uh, the water pressure gauge uh, which gives us the, the pressure that we want to operate at and obviously depending on what you're doing that, that will vary. Uh, we discuss all that with you when we, when we talk on the phone. Down at the bottom here we have an adjuster valve so if I'm working on upholstery I need less pressure maybe than I'm working on really heavily soil carpets. So we can totally adjust uh, the pressure that's, up, that's coming out of the floor one or the, the upholstery tool. Okay so a very uh, neat well manufactured machine, uh, well put together, obviously for the convenience of the operator, uh, all nicely put together there that we're not having to come in with separate cables and all of those things that, that takes time and time is money to everyone. Uh, we also here have a vent, this is where actually um, the air from the vacuums uh, uh, actually comes out on some, of, some machines uh, that are out in the market there, they will actually vent down uh, underneath the base of the machine. We found that there to create some problems for some manufacturers uh, if for example maybe the machine over flooded for one reason or another uh, you're getting a lot of heat and a lot of moisture down there which these days can affect wooden floors and all of the uh, all different types of hard floors which obviously you don't want to create problems on. We always find that it's far better for the machine to vent up here than we're creating no damage to, to uh, any surfaces uh, underneath the machine. Okay, very manoeuvrable machine as you can see. So that's the advanced unit and this machine will be built to your specification. We can supply this machine in, with a 100 psi pump, we can supply it with a 135 psi pump, 200 psi pump, 600 psi pump or 1200 psi pump. Obviously after talking to you we find out what you really want to do with the machine and we build that machine to your specification. Uh, however I said probably 9 out of every 10 machines is probably the 135 PSI twin vac. We can also build the machine with a triple vac so we can actually put an extra vac into it and again uh, depending on your specification that's something we would discuss as well. This is the back of the machine with the cables off it and I'm just going to show you how it is how easy it is to check anything uh, on the interior side of the machine, services, etc. Uh, after taking out uh, four Allen key bolts, uh, we can take the top um, cooling fan away from the machine. Uh, where there's actually two machines or two cooling fans in the machine, and the aid of cooling fans means that your motors are running cooler. This means that you get more longevity out of the, the motors, which is obviously very important. Everything is wired with a male and female plug. None of these bullet connectors or anything like that there, so everything comes uh, properly wired. Uh, and here we can actually see uh, two vacuums. Once we disconnect the two hoses from the vacuums, we can actually lift out the complete unit. Simple as that. When we take out the box, we, ha uh, we can see the two vacuums here and the exhaust box. And the idea is that we have vented the exhaust into this here so that it actually lessens the noise uh, of the unit if you're working in a domestic situation or whatever. Again, to take, out, to take away a, a vacuum motor, just loosen those three nuts and the whole thing just lifts straight off. So very, very easy uh, to, to take out the unit. Don't want to show too much in here, obviously, 
uh, our competitors are looking on here, but it's all very cleverly designed with the particular uh, pump size that you want uh, mounted on the base of the machine and all the different connectors. There's a cooling fan down there. All the electrics are all up here. Uh, and basically that's uh, the inside of your water extraction machine. But the beauty about this machine is that you don't have to empty the machine uh, to actually do a running repair or something like that. Uh, you can get at the machine and the machine's still full of water. In days gone by it used to be you had to empty the machine out, waste tank, clean tank, turn it upside down and all of the uh, usual things that you had to do. So again, a very very compact unit uh, that really looks the part. Very nice, attractable uh, unit, uh, which is well received. Uh, give us a call anytime. Uh, the numbers are at the end of this uh, short or this video presentation, uh, and speak either to myself, William Little, or speak to Paul Barton, who will give you the full specification on the unit. Thank you very much.